Hello everyone, this is Brianna Rutter, author of the book, The Natural Hair Bible, and founder of HowToBlackHair.com. And for these special videos, I love to answer all of the questions you all send me via email. So if any of you have any questions you would like for me to answer, be sure to check out the description box below for additional information. So we're gonna get right on into the video, and this video is inspired by a question I received from Hannah. Hannah emailed me because she wants to know if it's true for black women to grow long hair. She's biracial and she's been told all her life that she has good hair because it can grow very fast and grow very long. So she wants me to help her to understand whether or not some of these things are true. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you some insight as far as it goes with black women hair and why it seems like it's such a problem to grow long hair. So the first thing that I'm going to address is that black hair is usually the most kinkiest and curliest of hair types. So even though you may not maybe identify yourself as a black woman, there's so many different kinds of women who may not identify themselves as a black woman as well, but they could have extremely curly or coily hair. We're a big mixing pot of so many different types of ethnicities. So sometimes it may be as if you would assume your hair is more curlier when in fact it's maybe not as curly as what you've thought based on the type of people that you see. So black hair by nature is very, uh, very curly and coily and sometimes wavy. And because of this, this creates a lot of weak points along the way for hair damage or hair breakage to happen. Me personally, I have very coily hair and my hair is identified as 4C hair type. And because my hair is so curly and sometimes even afro textured like, it gets very tangled sometimes because my hair is very, very curly. So what I have to do is make sure that if it is wet, it's maintained in some kind of braids or twist to keep my hair as elongated or as stretched as possible to stop my strands from continuing to wind around each other. Because if I allow that to happen, I'm gonna have to really detangle through my hair and more and more manipulation you put on your hair, you're increasing the risk of breakage happening. So that's a big reason as to why some black women may even feel like they have no chance at growing long hair because they're always trying to combat hair damage. Another thing is that black hair as well because it's curly and coily and wavy and kinky is that it's harder to keep it moisturized. The reason why is because everyone produces natural oils on their scalp and all over their body, you're on your skin, on your scalp, everywhere, and this oil is called sebum. What happens is the sebaceous glands in your scalp excrete sebum, which is a natural oil protectant that's going to protect your hair against weather, against anything, debris, and even uh, keeping a moisture as well. Sebum is a natural balance to protect your hair and to keep your hair balanced with moisture. The thing with curly hair is that there are so many winds and turns and bends is that uh, when you are producing sebum, it's sometimes difficult for the sebum to travel all the way down the hair. That's why with people who have straight hair, usually maybe uh, of an Asian descent or Caucasian descent, they usually have problems with combating with oily hair because it's very present and very easy for oil to slide down straight strands. So with curly hair, it's hard for your uh, sebum to reach all the way down your hair strands which is a natural protectant to keep water into your hair. So I hope you're still with me. I hope I'm not losing you. What I'm just stating is that because your hair is more curly and oils aren't able to really distribute, natural oils aren't really able to distribute down your hair, oftentimes this leaves your hair to being more drier than other hair types. So this is a big deal when it comes to black hair is keeping your hair moisturized. Whether or not you are relaxed or natural, this is something you constantly have to keep in mind because the very nature of your hair tends to be drier than other hair types. So with these tips, I want you to understand that there's no one that grows hair faster. I mean, we all have different factors as fast as how fast our individual hair growth is. It differs from whether or not you're a male or female, the uh, health, the condition of your health, even the areas that you live in, everything that you are exposed to has a lot to do with the rate of your hair growth. So no one's hair grows any faster than another. It seems to be that way because it may be easier 
for different people to be able to retain their length. And what I mean by that is it may be easier for someone else to keep their hair longer in a sense of not having as much breakage to deal with. So it's very easy, honestly, it's very easy to grow long, healthy hair, even if you're a black woman. There's so many people around in this world who have long hair, and I mean the kinkiest, the coiliest of strands that reach way past their shoulders. And there's even shrinkage to consider in, in, into that as well. So their hair is even longer than what you see. So I want you to know that everything everyone's telling you is so false. Maybe it's just an excuse to feel like, well, I can never have long hair like you. You're just blessed with good hair. Everyone has good hair. If your hair looks good, it feels good and it's healthy, you have good hair. So I'm glad you sent me that question and I'm glad I could help. And I know this is gonna help so many other women as well who may even struggle with achieving a length that they want. What I want those women to do specifically is to educate themselves on how to have healthy hair. And that's the main, main reason why I wrote this book is because so many of you ask me how to develop a regimen, what, how to keep my hair healthy. And because I get so many loaded questions, I thought the best place to put all that loaded information is in one book that you can read and develop a specific regimen and use specific products and techniques for your specific head of hair. So so thank you for sending me that question. I'm glad I could answer that. And uh, I know this is gonna help other people too as well. And before any of you go, make sure to sign up for my email list to be automatically entered for giveaways. And only there you will receive exclusive content. So until then, I will see you all in my next video.